Hello, hello, hello. Today is June 16, 2021. And I cannot change that. That doesn't mean that I will post this recording today for me. No, I may wait a few days, but today for me is June 16, 2021. And I want to discuss with you the solutions to the double pendulum. Remember we had two pendulums connected to each other. They had the same length, 40 centimeters. We were going to use for G 9.81 meters per second square. The mass of these objects each is 55 gram. But the mass is unimportant in the case of pendulums as long as the mass of the strings is much, much less than the mass of M. But the period of these pendulums is always independent of the mass. Two coupled oscillators has all, have always two normal modes. One of the normal modes is that it's going to swing like this. In other words, both objects come to the hold, to a hold at the same moment in time. And right here they have maximum speed at the same moment in time. And they both have the same frequency. That's the case here too. Except they are not at the same side, but now they are in opposite sides. So it goes like this. But again, when this comes to a halt, this one comes to a halt. When this one has maximum speed, this one has maximum speed. This is a higher frequency than this. The question, what was is the period in seconds of this mode? And what is the period in seconds of this mode? I gave this a minus sign because omega, the frequency, is lower here than there. So I call this omega plus, and I call the period T plus, and I call this period here T minus. All right. If I were to derive these periods, it could easily take me 15 minutes with five or six or seven pages of text. I did that in lecture number six of 803. Go to my playlist, my playlist, look at 803, vibrations and wave, and open Lecture 6, and it will all be there for you in great detail. The period of one single pendulum, if this one is not there, is well known. I call that T0. The zero means that it really is only one pendulum. It's 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Okay, you should dream that by now. You got that already in your high schools. So omega, which is always 2 pi over T, omega zero, which refers to this zero, omega squared is G over L. Hold this for a minute. So omega zero is 4.95 radians per second and omega zero squared is 24.53. So this is trivial. What I derive in lecture six is that omega minus squared is two minus the square root of two times omega zero squared and I derived that omega plus squared is 2 plus square root of 2 times omega 0 squared. 
Once you accept that, you can immediately calculate T minus, which is 1.66, 1.657 seconds, call it 1.66 seconds, and T plus, which is of course less, because the frequency is higher, is 0.687 seconds. I'm very pleased that uh, at least 20 people have that correct. I don't know how they found the solution, but they probably went to my lecture number 6 of 803, perfectly allowed, perfectly legitimate, or they went to the website and they found somewhere else the solutions to two pendulums. Two pendulums, of course, is a classic. The two pendulum that I made is, of course, a very bad example of a decent pendulum. <laughs> when I oscillated, these things also begin to rotate. These are 55 gram weights. The weights are not nice spheres. But nevertheless, so the, the length of the pendulum is not even so well defined, but nevertheless, it should give approximately the values that I predicted. In other words, I would expect that this period, when I do the example, when I show it, that I will be close to this one. This one is more tricky in terms of the motion of these two objects relative to each other in this crazy simple example of my toy pendulums. So here I would say I would probably be within 10%. Here I think I should be probably within 5%. So I have here a stopwatch. I will count 10 oscillations and I will tell you when I start. It's now clearly in a normal mode. Now, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eighteen seconds. Yeah, eighteen, eighteen point zero seconds. Well, this is really seventeen seconds, roughly. So eighteen seconds is not bad. Um, now I will do, <laughs> I will try the higher frequency, which is certainly, I'm not going to be <laughs> as successful, but I'll try it. Okay, it's now in the second, in the highest frequency mode. Let me make sure that it's stable. Yeah. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8.1 seconds. Uh, so 10 of this would be roughly 7 seconds. So 8.1. I'm off by 10%. That's the best I can do. And here I found 18, and it should have been 17. So, many of you, and I'm very proud of that, made a pendulum first. And then they tried to derive the periods. And many told me that they immediately knew that their derivation was wrong because they were nowhere near the period 
of their own toy pendulum at home. So that's cute. That's the way that physics works. There were peer people who think they derived the period and they concluded more than one that the period, this period, was 35 seconds. Think for a minute. 35 seconds. So you start the oscillation here. You let it go in that mode. You go to the kitchen, you wash your hands, you take a drink, you clean your hands and you come back and it hasn't even completed one oscillation. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> that is blatantly absurd. There are many people who have periods much longer than 10, 15, even 35 seconds. I would say your instinct, just what you're used to, when you were playing me maybe even as toddlers, when you were very young and you were playing with things that moved, your instinct must be able to tell you that these answers with 40 centimeters must all be of the order of one second. One to two seconds of that order. Now maybe they were three seconds, maybe they were half a second, but they cannot be much, 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 much different from roughly one second. 1.7 close to one second, 0.7 is close. So your, your instinct must have told you that by just closing your eyes and seeing in mind how long that takes. Can it go this slowly? This was 10 seconds. No way! No way, it got to be like this. All right then, as always, we are friends. That's never negotiable. <laughs> yeah, couple of oscillators. It's not easy, you will see the mass of lecture six. It's not easy. I don't think it is a JEE main problem. Some of you can tell me whether a problem like this would be allowed on JEE advanced. I do not know that. All I can tell you is that it's a classic college problem, first year, maybe second year. 803 is the second year for students at MIT. So problems like this were part of our second year. Yes, 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 we're your friends. Even if you didn't do it right, even if you didn't do it at all. Yes, 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 we will be friends.